شوق پیدا کیا ہے یہ نوجوان ہیں نکلس میکرل اور ان کو سارنگی کا شوق ہوا ہے ان کی سارنگی سننے سے پہلے آئیے ان کی بات چیز سنتے ہیں انیتہ بھلہ نکلس میکرل سے باتیں کر رہی ہیں Well, Nicholas, of all the Eastern instruments around, why have you chosen the sarangi, which is one of the most difficult to play? Well, as a teenager, I listened a lot to Hindustani music, and I was particularly captivated by the sarangi's, the incredible focal quality of its sound. And I'd heard it was the most difficult Indian instrument, and I suppose I was attracted by the challenge. Where did you learn, and who taught you? I learned for six years in India. Um, four years in Benares, two years in Delhi. My first two teachers, whom I learned Sarangi technique from, were Ustad Sabri Khan, Pandit Gopal Misra, and I learned Rupad singing from Ustad Fayaz Daga. But the most important of my teachers, in terms of raga and style, music in general, was Pandit D.C. Vedi in Delhi. Is it true that uh, when you went to India, you in fact hadn't seen a sarangi or yes. even seen a picture of one? Yes, I imagined something very round and big and I arrived in India and there was this tree stump with strings all over it. I was amazed. Mm -hmm. and do you only play classical music on that? Have you experimented? For the most part, but I've, I've done a lot of experimenting with writing English songs set to raga and tal, multi-tracking the music with playing all the instruments myself, singing sarangi, uh, electric guitar and bass and tambura and other bits and pieces. So in Britain, where do you find an audience for such an unusual instrument? Um, I've, I've accompanied singers and Kathak dancers quite a lot. Played in films recently, uh, The Jewel in the Crown, forthcoming things, The Razor's Edge, Mountbatten, End of Empire and quite a lot of solo programs. Most um, lately uh, playing for uh, unusual things like prisoners, psychiatric patients, blind people, in schools and libraries. And that's been very rewarding work. What does the future hold for you? Are you planning anything immediately? Uh, well, I've got six concerts in the Northeast next week playing in Belfast for an ethnomusicology conference on the 24th, some concerts in Germany in April, um, playing in St. John Smith Square in May for a, something to do with victims of the, of the Brighton bombing. Right, well, should we have a look at this instrument? Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? It's indeed uh, very unusual looking. Well, Sarangi has 39 strings of which 36 are sympathetic strings, which just resonate when I play these three. They're stopped with the cuticles of my left hand. It's carved out of a single piece of hardwood. The face is stretched goat skin. Okay, and what are you going to play for us now? Raglalit. Okay, I'll move out and give you some more space. <laughs> 